Aloha, my name is Jody Kamisato, and I'm an ukulele instructor and owner of Ukulele Hale. Today I'm going to be teaching you one of my favorite songs of all time. It's a song entitled White Sandy Beach. This song was arranged by Willie Dan and performed by the late Mr. Israel Kamakavivole. Now this is a very fun and easy song to learn, so I recommend you guys come along, grab your ukuleles, and, and have fun with me. Now before I start the lesson, I want to just show you guys the string names. Now starting with our top string, this is what we call our G string. The next string is our C, followed by E, and A. Now an easy way to remember this is good, cooks, eat, a lot. Another name for our strings, starting with our bottom string, is our first, second, third, and fourth. Okay. Another thing I want to teach you guys is our frets. Now, this is our first fret, second fret, third fret, and fourth fret. Now, throughout the lesson, I'll be referring to the frets and also the string names when pointing out our chord and finger positioning. So let's begin uh, with, with our chords. Now we have just a few chords in this song. We have our F chord, B flat, B flat minor, and C7. So let's start off with our F chord. Now our F chord requires us to use two fingers. So we will be using our index finger and our middle finger. Now our in index finger, we're gonna place it on our second string, first fret, and our middle finger, we're gonna place it on our top string, G string, second fret. Together, this is our F chord. Next, we have our B flat chord. Now, this one is a little more difficult because it requires three fingers. So we're gonna start off with our index finger, and we're gonna place it on our bottom two strings, first fret, our middle finger, we're going to place it on our third string or our C string, second fret. And our ring finger, we're going to place it on our top string, third fret. Now together, this is our B flat chord. Next we have our B flat minor. Now B flat minor, we're going to place our index finger on our first fret. Okay, so it's, we should be covering every string. Now our ring finger, we're gonna place it on our top string, third fret. What I like to do is I like to add my middle finger on top. And this is to ensure that we have enough pressure on our strings. I call this piggybacking. Okay, this is B flat minor. And it should sound like this. And finally, we have our C7 chord. And our C7 chord, all we're gonna do is we're gonna place our index finger on our first string, or our A string, first fret. And that is our C7 chord. So let's go back and review back to our F chord. Okay, here we go. We have our F chord. We're gonna place two fingers. We have B flat, three fingers. B flat minor, we're gonna bar the entire first fret, place our ring finger on our top string, third fret. And C7. Okay, so once again, we have our F, B flat, B flat minor, and C7 chords. Now that we have our chords, I want to show you our strum pattern for this song. Now, if you guys are familiar with this song, you guys probably heard Iz play this, um, you know, over the radio or on a CD. And he does this arpeggio picking. And he uses, you know, two fingers. Or maybe three. But... You know, it's a little difficult, and so I want to show you guys a little easier way to, to play this song. So I'm going to show you guys the, what we call the down, down, up, up, down strum pattern. Okay, before I start the, the strum pattern, I'm going to show you guys how to properly strum. We're going to use our index finger, right index finger, and we're just going to strum all our strings like this. Okay, using our index finger. And when we're strumming down, you want to use our, our, our nails, okay, so we get this nice clean sound. Now when we strum up, we're going to be using our meat part of our finger, like this. OK, 
Okay, so let's try down up together. All right. Now you guys are ready for the down, down, up, up, down strum pattern. Okay, and it sounds like this. I'm just gonna hold my F chord and I'm gonna play it for you guys a few times and I'll teach it to you. Okay, here we go. All right, good job. So we have our down, down, up, up, down. Okay, first of all, let's hold our F chord and we're gonna strum down with our index. Down, up, followed by up, down. Let's try it a little slower. Here we go. Down, down, up, up, down. Again. Down, down, up, up, down. All right, let's try it a little faster. Here we go. Down. Good job. So that is our down, down, up, up, down strum pattern. Okay, now if you look below, you have your chords, and next to the chords, we're gonna have a number. The number signifies how many times we're gonna strum the strum pattern. So for example, if you see the number four, that means you're gonna strum down, down, up, up, down four times. So in this song, White Sandy Beach, we begin with our F chord. And next to the F chord, it says four, the number four, so that means we're going to play down, down, up, up, down four times. So you can play along with me. Let's, let's just try our F chord. Here we go. Ready? And... Okay, another thing you might see, I mean, you might see number one. That means you're going to strum down, down, up, up, down one time. Okay, so for example, B flat in this song, we're going to play it one time. Down, down, up, up, down. And that's it. Okay, so just keep, keep in mind the uh, numbers, and the numbers signify how many times we're going to strum our strum pattern down, down, up, up, down. All right, good luck.